You might have noticed in my reviews of Star Trek Discovery, I always point out continuity mistakes with the other shows, and uh, when I review the Orville, I point out all the similarities, all the little things that might have inspired the Orville. And I do it right away without even checking, because I do kind of have photographic memory when it comes to some of the Star Trek shows. And in the past, when I used to do parody edits of Star Trek, people also asked me, how are you able to do this? How are you able to find the exact line you need, or the exact moment, or the exact expression? How can you do these edits so quickly? You must have photographic memory of Star Trek to be able to do that. And the real reason is not because they have photographic memory, but uh, because uh, I actually watched uh, Star Trek, especially TNG and Deep Space Nine, over and over again a lot of times as a kid. And it wasn't because I was so obsessed with it, I simply didn't have a lot of other stuff to watch because my family wasn't that rich, it was back in the 90s, so we didn't have cable TV yet. We only had two channels on TV, and the Star Trek was on one of them, and I always recorded it on VHS tapes, and because there was not a lot of other stuff to watch, so whenever I didn't have anything to watch, I simply pulled out the tape and watched it again and again and again, and so I watched it probably 20 times maybe. Uh, I didn't actually have the first season of uh, TNG, which is maybe a good thing, because that was a pretty terrible season, so I remember I didn't have all the episodes. And I remember when Deep Space Nine started, I hated it, and I stopped watching and stopped recording, and only came back to it later in Season 4, so I did have the recordings from Season 4 onward, so I kind of missed uh, Season 3 for a while. And so TNG I probably rewatched the most, uh, second place Deep Space Nine, and all the other shows uh, I watched them much later, and much fewer times, like some episodes probably only once. And so that's why I don't have as good memory regarding the other shows as I do about the TNG and Deep Space Nine. And that's also why I usually compare everything to TNG first of all, because simply that's the one that I immediately can remember everything about that show. And that's also why it was so easy for me to do those parody edits, because whenever I needed a specific moment or specific scene or a line or a specific shot, I simply kind of scanned it in my head, and then I knew where it is, and I could immediately go and find the exact episode and the exact part in the episode, the exact uh, moment. So I didn't have to watch the entire episode to find that place, and that's uh, what made it so easy for me to do that. I was even able to kind of construct uh, those recuts in my head before even making them, and then I could know if it will work or not. So I didn't even need uh, to experiment that much. I could do it in my head without even watching the show before making it, so I didn't waste time, usually at least, and so that explains why I was able to make so many of those parody edits that some of you guys probably are here because of that, because you're fans of, of those. So now you have the explanation, it's not because I'm a genius or have perfect memory, it's simply because of my uh, sad childhood in which I didn't have cables, and so I watched uh, the same show over and over again multiple times, and I uh, remember it by heart. But you know, it was a good show, if I had to pick any one show to do it with, that would be perfect. So in a way I was lucky that I stumbled on that specific show, because I do think it is one of the best ones, and so I was very lucky to fall on that one specifically. Or maybe I'm just being nostalgic, maybe I'm not being objective when I talk about that show, because, you know, some of it was pretty bad. The first season, season 2 became much better, and uh, between season 3 and season 6, then uh, the show was really golden, really one of the best shows. Season 7 uh, started kind of declining, I think, it kind of, kind of ran out of good ideas, and started doing all kinds of silly soap opera stuff, and that's the same kind of style that later progressed into Voyager and the, the early Enterprise, and so that's why I liked those shows less. So I do feel very lucky that uh, it happened with TNG, and Deep Space Nine also was a very good show. I remember as a kid especially I enjoyed the, the much better special effects of Deep Space Nine, especially when it came to fleet battles and all that stuff, so as a kid I was amazed by that, so in, in some ways I even like Deep Space Nine more than TNG, in terms of pure entertainment, because it was a lot more fun in some ways. Namely, it was more action-packed, and so I guess that's the same reason some people much prefer Star Wars over Star Trek, because Star Wars uh, is much more... Uh, action-packed and visually entertaining, and so I do understand why some people prefer that, but overall, especially as an adult looking back, I do prefer the science fiction ideas and philosophical ideas and social questions. All of that is much more interesting and it also stays with you longer, because, you know, if you look, if you try to remember back something about those shows, do you really remember how cool the space battle was? Is that really something to, to think about? Did it leave something to think about? Or do we think about all those questions about philosophy or all kinds of existential questions, uh, the nature of existence, all kinds of science fiction ideas, philosophy, religion, politics, those kinds of things stayed with me much longer and so that's why I do view TNG as a better show, even though Deep Space Nine also played a lot with uh, all those ideas, but TNG I think was better because it really left you something to think about. 
Also, I feel like it kind of inspired my morality. Like uh, Picard is like my role model because he's really like a moral figure that you always, if you are ever in any kind of dilemma, you can always uh, think, what would Picard do? So I do view it as a very good show to grow up with. And as I said later, I did watch all the other Star Trek shows. And uh, right now I'm watching the original series, which I did watch once in a while, but I don't think I fully watched uh, all the episodes. I probably missed a few episodes, so that's why I'm now doing a rewatch of the original. So uh, sorry for the long uh, ramble, but I wanted to answer this question so that if anyone asks me this again, I simply point to this video and uh, with the full explanation of why I have such good memory of Star Trek and especially TNG and Deep Space Nine. And I had a pretty good collection of uh, VHS tapes, which recently I had to throw out. And that was really sad because I spent so much time recording all of that. And I was cutting out the commercial. I found a way to do it exactly so that it won't be noticeable later. Like I used to pause when the commercial started. And then I knew exactly how many frames to go back so that the commercial will not uh, be seen at all. So that it will be a perfect cut. So that when I watch it later, it won't have all those jumps to commercials. So when I used to record it, I was sitting with the remote, uh, waiting for the commercial to cut it out, and then waiting for it to start again so that it, I won't miss anything. And sometimes it was uh, late at night, and so I didn't sleep to record it. So I spent a lot of energy just recording all that stuff. And I recorded it at maximum quality, and I had a whole bunch of tapes, also with other movies, and uh, now I, I don't need any of that. And so it took up a lot of space, so recently I had to throw it all away, and that was pretty sad. Maybe I shouldn't have, maybe someone uh, would have wanted the, the VHS tapes, maybe I should have tried to sell it or something. So maybe it was a mistake, I kind of regretted uh, throwing that away, but you know, I didn't use them for years, it was really just taking up space. And I didn't have a VHS player anymore, so it was pointless to keep them. So anyway, I just wanted to share this story. And, and by the way, I also remember as a kid, I used to want to do recuts. I had no way to do it yet. I only had the VHS tapes, but I remember thinking maybe I should get a second VHS tape and that way I could cut specific points out of the episode and put them on the other tape. And this way I can do like compilations and stuff. I remember I wanted to do that and never got around to it. And uh, for example, I wanted to do a compilation with just all the action scenes, just all the explosions, because you know, back then it was uh, rare in the episode most of the episode was just talking and maybe once in a few episodes there was some kind of explosion with something blowing up and it was really cool because it was so rare and so I remember wanting to collect uh, all the action scenes, all the explosions, uh, but I couldn't. And then only much later when I had uh, it all on the computer, then I started doing that kind of stuff and then YouTube appeared and so I uploaded uh, those compilations to YouTube and a lot of people found them very entertaining and then I started kind of playing with the compilations kind of arranging the order of them to make it funnier or to show clips out of context in a funny way and then started creating a whole story out of it so that's how all those recuts started all those parody edits it all started with compilations then i played with the compilations to make them funnier and then i realized at some point that you know it's really easy to create a brand new story out of existing scenes because of what i said that i remember this show by heart i can easily pull any line i want from a, a different episode and just combine it and I can do it uh, pretty smoothly so that it will seem almost natural and because they're always in the same exact sets, they're in the same rooms and they were all wearing the same exact uniforms most of the time and so all of that made it very easy to take clips from different episodes and combine them in new ways to create brand new stories and I even used other movies with the same actors uh, to enrich it even more and so it was a really big project which I really enjoyed doing and I had a lot of fans by the way, all of those recuts are now back online. You can find them on a channel called the Green Room. It has the playlist to most of those recuts. And some of them have been censored a little bit because a lot of them also had a lot of dirty jokes, a lot of adult humor. And that is a problem on YouTube. I think it really caused more problems than the copyright issue. I think if the clips are short, CBS usually don't touch them. They don't remove short clips from Star Trek. They only made copyright problems when uh, there were so many of them that they probably thought someone is just uploading the whole episodes because, you know, I'm, I tried always to do the recuts as uh, flawlessly as possible so they actually looked like real episodes. You could barely see all the cuts and transitions. So maybe when CBS looked at that, they just uh, thought someone is uh, uploading whole episodes and splitting them uh, to multiple parts. So probably that's why they had those videos removed. But also YouTube itself caused problems because some of them had uh, some nasty jokes and some uh, sexy images and stuff like that. So a lot of that stuff was either removed or censored or uh, toned down a little bit. And also a lot of those videos are shorter now or split up to shorter parts uh, to cause less problems. So hopefully they'll stay up uh, much longer this time. So if any of you are interested, you can find them on the channel uh, Green Room. I also will be making new ones on the channel Major Green. Right now I'm kind of doing compilations there about uh, Star Trek Discovery, like showing all the continuity problems, the same kind of stuff I used to do with the old shows as well. 
the kind of stuff I started with. But uh, I also want to do comedic uh, recuts again because that was a lot of fun. It's very time consuming. It's really hard, especially if I want to use special effects to really create something special. So all of that requires a lot of free time to create. And also because I know it might all get removed later, that kind of damages my motivation to do that. But you know, I always have uh, those videos saved, uh, at least for me. And so that's why I will still be making them because I'm a fan of my own work as well. I enjoy these videos myself. And so I will be making them regardless. If they are removed, then I'll try to upload them later or in other places. And I will always have them uh, for myself. So it's not a big deal if they're removed, I guess. It was a pretty big blow when, uh, whenever that happened, uh, psychologically, especially when you invest so much time in it. And also, you know, all the comments get lost and there are so many funny comments, as I mentioned. And I am planning to make new ones as well. I have some funny ideas which I didn't do before and uh, that should be fun. It's very time consuming and I always worry that it will all get removed later so that's why I don't want to invest too much of my energy into it. I rather do reviews and videos like this which I know should be safe on YouTube but I do also want to do the parody edits because that was just so much fun and a lot of people enjoy them so I don't consider it a waste of my time to do it because it's not just for me. I know that a lot of people really enjoy them and so I will still uh, be making them as well. Uh, but I want to have at least one channel that is totally safe, that I don't have to worry about, which I can really invest my time into, and that will be this channel in which I'll make reviews, and maybe once in a while I will sneak in little parodies as well into the reviews, and this should be safe because it's all fair use. So hopefully, I hope to have at least one channel which I can uh, feel safe on, and which people can always find me on, so it will be this channel. So anyway, so that's my story about uh, why I have such a good memory of Star Trek, so I hope uh, it's been interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.